Welcome everybody, we're live on Twitch right now, but we're going to make a quick in-stream video for YouTube. Um, I had kind of an interesting game yesterday, I thought I'd share it with you. Now, um, I was using a Doom Cleaver deck, only one Doom Cleaver, because wild cards are bad. Um, and as I was playing with the Doom Cleaver and the Mardred, I had a thought of about, I wonder how cheap, using the Doom Cleaver, I can make Mardred. Let's find out. Give me those viewers, masters. Not sure what you mean, Psycho. Okay, so we're using Doom Cleaver. Now, the thing with the Doom Cleaver is every time it gets a killing blow or hits the face, it reduces the cost of a Voidborn card in your hand by one. Hey, Shifty. So, I was trying to utilize that as much as possible. If you look at the cards in my hand, you'll see. So, the Doom Cleaver's got a kill down there. It's reduced the cost already of a couple of cards by one. So, the, basically, the Doom Cleaver is exactly the same as a Cleaver, statistics wise. It does cost two more mana, which means if it only gets one or two kills, it's not really. Um, that better than a cleaver. Any more than that, and you're getting value from it. So we see the Doom Cleaver's getting some value at the bottom there. It's already reduced four mana's worth. But that's a good start. We've got a two mana uh, Malshar. We've got a one mana Black Hole. Now, the Black Hole's interesting because the Black Hole you could use to reset the Cleaver stroke Doom Cleaver's attacks. So um, you can use the Black Hole to force out an extra attack. To get that extra reduction. So it's kind of fun. We also have, we're playing Mordar as well, which means that we can get the Doom Cleaver to red. So although we're not using wild cards, we can get multiple Doom Cleavers. Not at the same time, but multiple Doom Cleavers value for our mana. So again, as we discussed before, the green circle at the top around the units that are uh, linked to the tombstone. Okay, there's a red. So we've got a single post black hole. Should be two, it's only one because of the Doom Cleaver. Now the thing with trying to get a lot of mana reduction is you kind of have to force yourself to not play stuff. And you have to hope that the game goes on for a long time. But straight away we can see this is a good chance of getting some good mana reduction because we've got the Doom Cleaver against the Skeletons. The small skeletons, even the big skeletons, the Doom Cleaver kills in one hit. If he doesn't get the killing blow, then he gets no value. But look at if we look at our hand here, we can already see. Uh, there we go, black hole to get an extra hit out of the Doom Cleaver before he dies. Extra value. So we've got a zero cost uh, pincer of dread already at the bottom. Our Mardred is currently at seven. Seven uh, mana. Should be ten. It's currently at 7. We've got a free mana reduction on it at the moment. Doom Cleaver's still getting work. Mardred's down to 6 mana. I tried this a few times. I think the best I got before this game was I got Mardred down to 5 mana. Of course I'm just holding Mardred in my hand just to try to get the reduction as, as high as possible. But yeah, this, this, this game's kind of perfect for it because of all the little skeletons. Or just skeletons, as I said, in general, because the Doom Cleaver one hits them if they haven't got a spirit. Okay, so again, we're going to be looking to get a Doom Cleaver in here. So you see at the top there, the skeletons have got the spirit, so the Doom Cleaver's not getting an insta kill, so it's not getting. Oh, we've got a value there right at the end there. Thank you for the follow. Again, Doom Cleaver here. So we've got the Doom Cleaver, we're going to try and res it. We've also got a black hole to try to force as much value out of the Doom Cleaver as possible. So again, the green circle around the Doom Cleaver, we know that's linked for the Tombstone. Okay, Mardred's down to 5 mana. We've got a 5 mana Mardred, that's half the cost of what it should be. But the Doom Cleaver's still going, and it's invisible. Okay, we've got a res there, but it wasn't the Doom Cleaver res. Can we get some more value out of the Doom Cleaver before it dies? Yes, we can. Okay, it dies to the curse. 
I do burn some mana in this because I'm trying to figure out how to not use Mardred. Okay, so again, Doom Cleaver back here. It's not going to get a killing blow on this, but it will get one on the skeleton. Okay, so we've got a zero cost Flame Imp, a five cost Mardred, a one cost. Um, a zero cost Black Hole now. Mardred's down to five. Doom Cleaver coming in. Remember, it, you get a mana reduction if it's a kill or a face hit. Okay, three cost Mardred. Three cost Mardred. Hey, Nicole. We're just watching a replay and making a video for YouTube. Mardred's down to two cost. Can we get the mythical zero cost Mardred? We've got eight manas reduced on his cost. Remember the uh, Doom Cleaver only reduces the cost of Voidborn cards and only ones in your hand. Okay, so we're holding on to the Mardrid because we're still a two mana. Two mana cost Mardrid. We've got a big Demon Warrior as well. Basically, I'm playing this in a way to get the Mardrid as cheap as possible, not to help my teammate or win the game, basically. <laughs> Sorry, teammate. Sorry, Voodoo Pygmy. Okay, here we go. Doom Cleaver at the top. Gets another reduction. Doesn't go on the Mardred, though. Again, doesn't go on the Mardred. See down here. Mardred is two cost. It's got an eight mana reduction. Doom Cleaver still on face. Doing some damage. Still not Mardred. Doom Cleaver res though, that's nice. And he's invisible. D invisible Demon Warrior at the bottom. Mardred's down to one cost. We've got a one cost Mardred. Can we get a zero cost? We've already got two zero cost cards in our hand. It's either going to go on the Mardred or the Succubus. It's gone on the Succubus. Okay, Succubus is down to four mana. There we go, we did it! Zero cost Mardred. Ten mana reductions from the Crackle. Doom Cleaver. Zero cost Mardred. Now the question is, can we use it and can we win the game? I think at this point I was like, what do I do? Do I use it? Okay, that's a zero cost card. We've got a zero cost Mardred. We've got a Demon Warrior. Big Demon Warrior at the top. Demon Warrior, of course, bad against little units. Mardred pushing at the bottom. Just a casual zero mana unit pushing forward. I mean, it's pretty strong for a zero mana unit. It's going to go down, but... We've already got mana frenzy. We controlled the bridges. Might have not played it perfectly, but... We weren't concentrating on winning. I wasn't anyway. There we go. GG. And that, my friends, is how you get a zero cost... Madrid. Whilst playing a Doom Cleaver, just one single Doom Cleaver. No wild cards here. Much fun. So that was just a quick video we made for YouTube. If you liked it, hit subscribe. Give it a thumbs up.